So first and foremost, congratulations on being nominated for another NAACP award. Um, you seem to win every single year. What's your special take on that? No, I don't win every year. And my wife stopped me from going to award shows because when I don't win, I don't know how to make the right face. Oh, hell no! <laughs> I've been told by my wife and daughters got together and said, Dad, no more award shows, because when you don't win, you don't look good. So, that's, I don't win every year. That's great. Um, so, new season of Celebrity Family Feud. What makes celebrity different than regular Family Feud? I mean, for me, you know, it's uh, I get to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while, or, I, or you know, I get to meet some people I've always wanted to meet, you know. Kevin Neely's been on Saturday Night Live forever. He played against Drew Carey. Drew Carey's my buddy from Cleveland. He and I started out in Cleveland together in comedy years ago in the 80s. And uh, seeing Drew was always good. He holds prices right. They shot in the same building. And then Kevin Neely's been on Saturday Night Live for years. I never met him, so we met for the first time. You know, I get my buddy Cedric is on the show this year. You know, Two Chains is on the show. Big Boy is on the show. I've always known Big Boy. I always wanted to meet Two Chains. When the players come on, the NFL players, it's just always really, really cool for me when the NFL players come because I know most of these guys. So that that's the biggest difference. I know none of the families. I know a lot of people on celebrities. So for me, it's it's like a kind of like a reunion. And who's more shocking usually, your celebrity friends or the other families when it comes to answers? No, 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 the other families. Because they're actually trying really hard. <laughs> you know, they they trying to win 20000 Celebrities have 20000 It's not that big a deal for them. But some of them really want to win, you know. They really, really want to win. Like the NFL players, they're just competitive people. So they're going to want to beat the other team, no doubt. You know, and uh, I think... Uh, uh, Jersey Shores against the Heels, that was a big one. Because yeah. they uh, they do shots before they perform. I just never thought the Heels in Jersey Shore was real gangster, so <laughs> I wasn't concerned about it. Now, I also wanted to talk about uh, your South African Family Feud uh, season one. That is a really special thing. How did that come about? Uh, I had an idea about a year and a half ago and I, I was in Botswana uh, doing some business and I thought man how could I, Africa's been on my vision board for eight years, how could I find my way back home and so I came up with the idea maybe I should do Family Feud in Africa and so I went to my partners at Fremantle which are like the best people on earth to be in business with because they really do get it and I talked to them about what I wanted to do and so I bought the international rights to do Family Feud. And so I bought uh, South Africa, I bought Ghana. Uh, this year we may expand to Kenya. And uh, my goal is to turn it into a, like a huge soccer match, country against country. Do it in big arenas, you know, one day. That's, that's my goal for Africa. But it's, it's like, a, when you see the clips, it's gonna be hysterical. That. Now, what are your plans for Valentine's Day, given it's today? Well, I don't have any plans because my wife is in Aspen with the grandkids. She took all five of them skiing. The one-year-old is skiing. Uh, the three-year-old is skiing. The four-year-old is skiing. And the two five-year-olds, they're skiing. Do you know how to ski? No. I snowboarded and uh, we went seven years ago and I never failed so hard in my life, so I stopped snowboarding that day. Uh, we don't really care for snow. <laughs> you know. I'm from Vancouver, so I'm, I'm used to the snow, but I hear you. Black people don't care for snow, and you can stop it. I don't care if you are from Vancouver. You in LA now. If you loved it so much, why didn't you stay in Vancouver? because you don't like snow either. Let's just stop this. You know, good and well, that ain't what we do.